Hey there, it's Brie Bear and welcome to our final Tiny Tip Tuesday for Veda. This Tiny Tip Tuesday is continuing the little mini sub-series uh, within Veda that I've done for Tiny Tips of um, annotation methods. So, in the previous forms we talked about annotating with a notebook or annotating with a an index card, but alternatively you could annotate with post-it notes. Now, I'm not talking about tapping your book, I'm talking about actually using post-it notes on the page to write your annotations. Now, you may be thinking, that sounds simple, and it is, but the possibilities, you could use color-coded annotation stickies. You have various size options in stickies, you have the option of doing so many things and I'm going to show you another cool option available to you as well. So color code options are pretty great um, that you can use similar color code options for tabbing as you, uh, or similar color code options as what people use for tabbing. Alternatively use um, the post-its uh, in a color code method in the same way and the post it would also give you the space to actually write out your thoughts and notes on there sorry about the baby noises in the background Kaiden is here and I'm doing a filming day for Veda uh-huh biggest downside that you will face with using the post-it method is that A, to find your post-its you may need to stick them out of the book and some people don't like stuff sticking out of their book. Um, and a way around this is to align it to the very edge of the page. If you're using colored post-its then if you align it to the edge of the page you'll still be able to see the color but the texture won't be there and it won't be sticking out where it will get bent up or anything like that. The other big uh, challenge that you may face with post-its is quality. You do have to get the good brand to get the good quality with post-its. If you just get sticky notes from the dollar store, they will not work well. Um, they, the paper will tear because the adhesive is too strong or the adhesive will be so weak that it won't stick to something else. The other biggest challenge that you will face is Post-its block parts of the words on the page, so when you reread the book, you may have to move your post-its, which is annoying. And so, the solution, of course, is to use transparent <laughs> post-it notes. These are available in a clear shade, so if you want to use a clear, cool. If you don't, though, they are available in colors. Now, the color ones are the ones that are going to be more beneficial if you're trying to do that thing where you're lining it up. Um, with the edge of the page. Uh, but the clear ones work great for writing on the page uh, and adding additional words without covering up what is already there. So you can see your annotation on top of it. It's like writing on the page, um, it's just removable. And so this is a great alternative that uh, may work really well for you. And again, you can color code to your heart's content and line them up on the edge of the page if you so desire, like we talked about with the other post-its, but in this case, they will be uh, see-through as well. So, it's kind of a win-win-win. Uh, I hope that this is helpful to you in your figuring out what kind of annotating method you, you wanna try um, so that you can discover if annotating is something you enjoy in different capacities and in different ways. You might find that one of these methods works better than writing in a book for you. And so, feel free to try them out. Yeah, um, that being said, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, whatever time it is for you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and become a part of the Bear Scouts and the notification bell down below so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. But most importantly so that I will see you again very soon. Peace out, Bear Scouts. <laughs>